Well, we've been getting signs all day today, haven't we? Mm. Um, Till the angel story. At the gas station? Mm. Yep. We pulled in to put gas in the car because we're leaving tomorrow morning to uh, go to Brisbane Airport, catch a flight to Melbourne and pick up the Yahweh's birthday present. And uh, I started talking to two men on the other side of the pump. Uh, one of them, the younger one, has, has the same ute that we're going down to pick up in 1996. Um, You've got a V8. He's got a V8. Pearl He's completely restored it. Paid a thousand dollars for it from under a mango tree, but now it's worth a fortune. Under and so he was talking to me uh, uh, with, with great enthusiasm about everything that he did and, and some advice for us, etc. In the meantime, you're always talking to the other man who is the owner of the van that he was filling up with gas. He's a mobile mechanic. As it turns out, they both live just down the road, around the corner from us, in, in um, yeah, 100, 100, 200 metres yeah. down the road. And Carl was the man telling the story. He's a mobile mechanic and, again, offering advice. Now, I, as I'm talking to the younger one, I could hear Yahweh telling the story of how he crashed the logging truck um, in 1978 and taken up and coming back. And I, I just heard him say, the thorn of Jesus as he pulled up. So I'm, I'm, I'm overhearing that as I'm continuing the conversation with the younger one. And he tells me that... Uh, uh, the, they both lived in uh, the, the same parade and the numbers were 19 and 35. So I think that's great. Finish the conversation, go in to pay for the gas and the, uh, we put $19.65 for the gas in the, to get 35 cents change. And Carl comes in and uh, he'd given us two cards, which was strange because it had the, his um, business on it, but there was no name on these lovely cards. So I get into the car and Yahweh tells me the story that Carl had told him after he'd finished his crashing the logging truck story. And Carl himself said, I had the same experience. And he told, us, uh, he, he told Yahweh of a car crash that he was in, three were killed, and one of them was himself. He himself was viewing it all from like a telegraph pole, looking down on the three dead bodies, one of them was his. Then he gets taken up into the light and he, the he meets his mother there and, and he uh, says, we're not ready for you yet, you've got to go back. So he goes back into so the body. So what's he coming back for? To talk to us. To talk to us, to give us a message. Yes, absolutely. That was his. Where the star above says, holy God. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, we get home and we've been getting the signs all the time. As a matter of fact, in 2008, when we are in Papua New Guinea for the first time, October, uh, Yahweh said to me then, because in uh, the run-up to me finding, looking for the Christ on the earth, I had been given the script, if you like, I call it the written record, where I was writing information that was being given to me as dialogue on my heart. And as long as I obeyed any instructions that were given, that's how I found Yahweh. It took nine years, but it was all about the timing. Now, in the, um, in the script, I understood that there would be this uh, period of time, if you like, um, where a, 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 a trip to a, an out-of-world resort, uh, three days, three nights, took around the heavenly realm. And as the, see, the two, two witnesses, I knew before I found Yahweh that he was one of the witnesses and that he was forerunning his own coming, if you like, and this is the coming where everyone is expecting it and power and great glory and on the clouds, that he would be on the earth, rejected, and so he was forerunning himself, and that he was one of the witnesses, and that whoever was with him, of course, was the, the, the other witnesses. They are the two witnesses. So, what is it? Now, in that trip to Papua New Guinea in uh, 2008, Brian said to me then, are you ready to go? And I said, I'm ready anytime you are. Just, you know, you're, not, you're not going anywhere without me. So if you're going, I'm going. So it, at that point in time, you know, <laughs> we could have taken ourselves out. However, he said, when the time comes, when it's time, like we all know. So that was four and a, four, more than four years ago now, of course. Well, now it seems like the time. All the signs given. He's 69, total rejection. And he's always said, I'll not go past that date. So as with Jesus on the cross, 70 Hebrew years, 70 Hebrew years, that's right, it's all about the uh, prophecy of Daniel, 
69 Gregorian years and 70 Hebrew years of Daniel. Now, of course, on the cross, he gave up the ghost at the appointed hour. He was not murdered. He, it was a suicide. He gave up the ghost at the appointed hour. And the historical record shows that they were all astonished because people could hang there for days under crucifixion and still not die. So at the appointed hour, just after that, 3.16, he uh -huh. gave up the ghost. 3.12. 3.12, mm -hmm. right. Okay, 3.12 it was when he gave up the ghost, which of course is the gematria of his name today. So it seems we're being given clues all over the place by the angels. Uh, it started months ago with myself when um, things were coming like ascending and all, all kinds of things. So I, I was prepared for literally anything. Now at the time when I was given the word ascending, um, the message ascending, uh, Joel and I had been out for a walk and um, on the way back I see this, this, or now I know it, candy apple green utility, dark windows and uh, I was drawn to the license plate because this is all part of the JCDC, part of the DVD in my life before I found Brian and I look at the license plate and it's black with gold writing and it says the word double, spelt. D-U-B-B-L-E and I said to Joel a double D is a B this is JCDC part of the DVD it was all the focus on a double D is a B there were four B's in my life places and I'm saying what's with the B's I find Brian and of course his name is Brian B is the highest resonation of all. The license plate for New Guinea. Uh, the license plate, yeah, well, before that, his personal email when I found him was bbbb at pacificnet.com, uh, Pacific whatever it is. And then we go to um, New Guinea where every other license plate was a double B, BBBB. B, B. So when I saw the, I said to oh, oh no, no, oh my God, then I get the message about ascending. So that was months ago while we're still at the other, the resort in uh, Harvey Bay. So it gets down to these last, where, you know, it's his birthday, it's all over, over, can do nothing more. Total rejection uh, by humanity, all mankind, governments, uh, churches, etc., except the very, very few saints and the children, of course. So now I get this surprise, um, a totally unexpected payout of the superannuation that I was vaguely aware that I had. I found the letter literally, what, three weeks ago, it was about that. I phoned them, uh, changed the address, and then I said, by the way, I want to close it. What, what's the payout on it? It turns out to be almost $7,000, just short. So that goes in my account last Monday. His birthday was Friday. No, it was uh, Tuesday it went in. And so I'm thinking, okay, I'm thinking this is for a purpose of, because we're all over the place, because <laughs> hair and uh, other things. However, on Gumtree, uh, I was looking at youth. You know, every man's got to have a youth. I said, would you like to make a comment? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, carry on. You're a role. Well, it seems to be part of the story, doesn't it? Go on. Um, yeah, it's all about reading today, all of, all of the clues we've been getting. So, and I see, come across this lime green, well, yeah, I call it lime green youth, brand spanking, it can be stored, and the price on cool the other Cool bananas. Thing, yeah, that's what I call it, cool well, bananas. It's totally cool, cool bananas. That's it. Cool bananas. And I'm wearing, I'm wearing Mario's um, uh, little puppy dog. I found it and put it on. So, anyway, um, so I see it, I think, oh, that's, Fabulous. Wouldn't it be great? Oh. But in my mind, I'm thinking, wow, get out. <laughs> Seven grand. So I keep looking and uh, I don't say anything to Brian. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, bottom line is that's the one we're getting. We're going down to pick it up tomorrow because it is a reminder of the double D is a B. Now, when we but went through. Like that, didn't you? We, when, when we were in the New Jerusalem parkour going through the house. What was parked in the garage was that exact same utility. It's even on the video that mm. we've got. Now this is 2010. Mm. We went through this house. July 2010. That's when we met Elvis. He was the gatekeeper. Don't for trouble. <laughs> and um, we went through the property that we uh, ordained as the New Jerusalem and parked within the garage was this candy apple green ute with darkened windows 
and I didn't take, I didn't even notice it at the time, but it's in the video, Yahweh did. So when it turned up in Harvey Bam, went, oh my God, these are signs if you like. So we're picking up the ute. What it means is, um, what it means is the marriage supper of the Lamb. It's, it's the wedding. It's the 777 in, in the, uh, the holy city and then coming back with a vengeance. Now I've told the Mossad that I'll be on the road driving to Canberra and uh, to take me out again. I, I like big trucks, especially up close, as it's running out of the top of us. And or if you don't do it, I'll do it. Because I'm very, very annoyed. Now this then takes us into the next prophecy, which remember as God I can change. That is the coming of Gabriel, the destroyer. Mm. And as we go through this video, I'll wait before I tell you what it is, but uh, we'll just carry on. Sure. Notice all the light changes through the video. The raw video from Chuka's channel doesn't have all these light reflecting from our faces. You've read mm -hmm. what Chuka said, eh? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I <laughs> 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 Oh, there it is. That, that was the angel of death coming down. Okay, we go back. That's appeared in the clouds. Now, there's been, um, this reminds all of us of Claudia's dream a matter of weeks ago before Christmas time where she said that the clouds were really, really dark and gnarly. They parted and oh, it was also to do with the moon too. And uh, they parted and these black winged creatures came from the skies and they themselves were outside their apartment, they were making their way back, there was a third person with them making their way back to the apartment because as these black winged creatures were coming from the skies they were, uh, they were taking out, they were going after and taking out people. Now in the apartment the third person that was with them said I have to go to the bathroom when, they, when that person didn't come out after a while Claudia goes in and finds that the bathroom is covered with vomit and uh, um, <laughs> poo, and she, but the person they know has been taken out. The, the black winged creature had got her. Um, then, what is interesting is that on the 26th of December, Adam meets for the first time the brother of somebody that they had met before. This is in Poland, and he begins to tell Adam of his dream which was the same, these black winged creatures coming from the sky, taking out, going after people. He goes into a tunnel and when he comes out, he walks into peace and um, he's a musician that hasn't been able to follow his passion because it's the survival. But as he walks out of the tunnel and uh, it, it, it's, it's now peace because darkness has, has been taken out, he's able to do that that is his passion, which is his music. So this is what reminds us of, uh, and this is the reaping. The angels are the reapers, the destroying angels, who are the witnesses of um, everybody. Now here in the class, of course, we see, it looks like a baby's head in profile to me, and it, it, it looks like the baby's being held by a hand the hand of God, if you like, and then above the baby, yeah, it's going to move up, there's a face looking down toward, down, down a little bit lower, babe, 
to the right. Yeah, yeah there. A face looking toward the baby. Now, Brian has said over and over and over, I'm here for the children, I'm here for the children. It's the children that need rescuing from the adults who've been de demonised. And uh, we see faces all throughout the clouds, and it's the face of God. The face from the shroud of Turin, Brian's face. Oh, now we didn't finish the story because I started raving on about the double D. But um, these two at the gas station uh, gave us clues, the numbers, as uh, Carl was telling about his own death experience and not being timed, uh, the numbers 1935, the, the address around the corner, means appointed unto death. So uh, that's what we're expecting. We're very anxious to go there because what's been going on in the earth cannot continue and if it means our death then it means we're coming back with uh, vengeance. See so when a judge passes sentence he must himself be quite capable of wielding the sword, not getting someone else to Yeah. So you can have me as I am and every knee will bow or you can have me as Gabriel, take your choice. Now this here, we can continue for the next two seconds. Shall we tell what that number 1043 was that we just showed? That's gone. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, so take it back over to the 1043, which is the entirety of the video that we made when we looked at Chukas. Okay, now 1043 is uh, Gabriel. So everything is confirmed. But the position of this here, we've got to get it back two seconds. Oh, that's right. The the. Uh, so we're going to run that forward. We'll stop it. There it is. Six one five. So there's the number. There's Gabriel coming in the clouds. Every eye will see him. It'll be me if I go away. When I'm coming back, it's judgment. I will carry out my own sentence. Now, 615, of course, means... 615 is, in Greek, to destroy, put to death, kill, slay, outright. From 575. Denotes separation, departure, cessation, completion, reversal, etc. Judgment the hard way. Sentence will be carried out. So there is an amnesty period. So we will be driving towards Canberra, and if the welcome signs are not up, Gabriel's are coming. So we'll carry on and show you the rest of it. There's a little baby. There's another baby there beside her. See? Mm, Twins? Yeah. Tell me what to stop. You want to go there? Thank you. 
Kisser there. 801. By fire from 800. It's also the time you were born on 17th of June 2 BC. It's the apartment that I lived in in Sydney and it means Alpha and Omega. 800 Omega, 1 Alpha. Wicked, foolish, without understanding in Greek. Like, who pushed her? Want to go back and see that little bit again? Yeah. It's amazing. It's like a memorial. <gasps> you, you, you've been talking about how the angels pushed from behind. That's right. I told uh, Bren that yesterday. Mm. Oh. Yeah, her, her, her wrist was bent as well. Mm. Oh. Hey. Did you see that? Yeah. Every knee shall bend. 808. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Sugar. Sugar. This is amazing. How do you get a just press it. <laughs> Isn't that brilliant? Mm. Oh, that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. Glorious face. <gasps> oh. Choka, you're a boy. <laughs> no wonder you had such trouble getting onto your computer. He's always battling his computer. And it's great to know that you've got rid of all the do and that you're breathing deeply and feeling so much better for it. It's all about the oxygen, as you know. So you're one of the saints, and uh, we love you. Thank you. We'll be back. Yeah, no matter what goes down in the days ahead, uh, if you hear about death, we'll be back.
for good, for the good. And uh, I keep saying, not so for the wicked. Amen? Mm -hmm. That's it? Huh. Yeah. Is there more reading there? No, no, that's all I wanted to oh. say. All good for the good? I just get into it. Wait, yeah. oh, well, you can get out of it now. <laughs> So you you're playing it again. Hmm? Yeah. You're playing it again. Yeah. Continuing to record. <laughs> Alright, All right, you ready to stop it? Yes. Okay, now this will give us a time. <laughs> 